Hey Synthets, today we'll be talking about the Prophet X. Hi, I'm Pure Ambient Drone, and this is my channel where I talk about synthesizers. I review them, I demo them, and I make electronic music. So if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button and tap that bell, and let's get into the video. Hey, welcome back, and today we're going to be talking about the Day Smith Instruments Sequential Prophet X. I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. Now, at the time of this recording, I obviously have not got my hands on one yet. They just announced it May 1st. That was yesterday. But I have got a chance to review a lot of the specs on it and listen to a lot of the sound demos online. And I think I can give you a pretty good opinion, at least, as what I think of it right now. Having not played one, of course, I can't tell you about the fill or the build, but I can tell you that if it's Dave Smith's instruments, knowing their track record in the past, you're going to get yourself a solid built tank of a machine. But let's find out more about this machine and see what it can do for us if we wanted to put it in our studio for ourselves. Okay, so I want to begin by saying I am a big Dave Smith Instruments fan, so this might be a little bit of a biased uh, review. And I don't even know if it's an exact review because at this time, like I said in my opening statement, I don't have access to the real Prophet X in front of me. I mean, I haven't had my hands on it. But I have great faith in Dave Smith Instruments, so I know that this thing is going to be built like a tank. All of their equipment are built like tanks. So I want to begin by saying that if this thing is anywhere near the Prophet 12, then we're going to have ourselves one massive audio machine. From what I've heard so far, the Prophet X reminds me of a marriage between the Poly Evolver and the Prophet 12. It's got kind of like a marrying of sounds that give you that feel that they put these two synthesizers together and this is what they came up with. The other thing that the Prophet X reminds me of, and this is a great compliment, is the Waldorf Q. Now I own the Micro Q and I gotta tell you, it's an incredible sounding machine. The Prophet X sounds like it could do more than compete with it. The Prophet X sounds very similar to the Q, to my ears. So Dave Smith is making the statement that the Prophet X is their next evolution of the Prophet. So this is the next step to where the Prophet goes. It's got a sample engine, it has a synth engine, it has stereo filters for depth and impact. It is 8 voice stereo, or you can have 16 voice mono. Now, all of this is processed through analog filters. That's an important thing. Now, here's what got my attention. It has 150 gigabytes of internal samples. Now, the prices that I have seen for this is just shy of $4,000. So, you might as well say it's a $4,000 machine. And the big question is, is it worth it? That's a big question. At $4,000, I will not be adding this to my studio, but 
That's not to say it's not worth $4,000. I always say that when it comes to synthesizers or anything in life, well, value is in the eye of the beholder. With that being said, $4,000 is a lot of money for me to add to my already packed studio. I would love to own a Prophet X. If I did, you would see a lot of videos on it because I find it to be an extremely interesting machine with a unique sound that gives you a nostalgia unheard of in the modern day market. Already the buzz on the internet is that the Waldorf Blowfield is bigger, badder, and better than this. I don't really think that you can compare the Prophet X to the Blofeld. There are many similarities, but there are way too many differences to compare the two. Again, $4,000 is a huge price, but let's take a look at the build quality. Now, I own a Prophet 6, an OB6. I also own a Pioneer DJ by Dave Smith and a Prophet 12. Each and every one of these machines is built solid. Never ever have I had a problem with any of these machines, ever. I am not worried about the Prophet X's build quality. What I'm concerned about is the sound. And like I said, the sound of this instrument from what I've heard online is very unique, looks to be very powerful, and would be a great sound designing tool and would add something very special to a studio. Especially now, let me say something positive about the $4,000 price tag. When you have an instrument that's out of the reach of the smaller market, you're not going to have what I call sound crowding. Sound crowding is where you hear the same sounds in different songs from different artists all over the place and there's nothing unique about the artist's sound anymore. One of the most important things as a producer of music is you want to be able to develop a sound that is uniquely yours. I believe that instruments like the Prophet X and the Waldorf Q and even the Blofeld allows a music producer or artist, musician, to develop a unique sound to add elements into their tracks, sound elements, that are not excessively available to other producers. The Prophet X price range puts this into pro user hands. And what I mean by that is most people are not going to fork out $4,000 unless they're an extreme hobbyist or they're making some kind of money with their production and can find a place for the Prophet X in their sound palette. As a hobbyist, you would really have to be gung-ho to want to fork out $4,000 on what is clearly a performance machine built for the pro community, given its price. Other people have said that we should call Dave Smith Dave Jobs, that he's becoming the apple of synthesizers. I don't know if that's a bad or a good thing to be said about somebody, but I will tell you this, it's hard to find anything built better than a Dave Smith instrument. It just is. So you're paying for high quality build. But that's not why we buy synthesizers, is it? We want them to sound good first and foremost. We also want them to be easy to use. Fortunately, we have enough sound out there now that we can make a determination if this is something that we want in our own studios.
Well, that's all the time that we have for today. I want to remind you, though, that you can go to my website, pureambientdrone.com, and you can find links to all of my music and my social media sites and connect with me through that website. Also, if you haven't already done so, I would ask that you would now subscribe to my channel because it encourages me to continue with these videos. I hope that I helped you in some way or another. Until next time, cheers.